My name is Eli Casey, and my story is my plan to save the Earth. Beep, 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 my alarm clock blared. I woke up hoping to hear birds singing, but I heard none. My name is Eli, and ever since we moved to this ugly neighborhood in the city, I have not seen one bird or even heard one. I got, got up out of bed and looked out the window. The very first thing I saw was someone littering. Ugh, I said to myself as I put on my clothes. Why must people litter, I thought. And suddenly, I had an idea. A great idea, I thought. But would it work? I started rummaging around in my closet just as my sister, Mia, poked her head through the door. What are you doing, she asked. She knew that my favorite thing to do was was to invent and that some of my projects didn't always work out as planned. I'm trying to save the earth, I declared. I ran downstairs and ate my breakfast super fast. After breakfast, I hurried into the garage and my father asked if I could take out the trash. Yes, but no, I need the trash. I said as my father looked at me with a questioning look. He also knew that some of my plans never worked out. My plan was this. Make robots out of recycled things and have the robots help the environment. First, I made a big robot out of a garbage can with sharp pieces of metal, glass, aluminum, and a couple bits of silverware. Inside, the robot had a little furnace made from an old microwave. On the outside, it had headlights, dead light bulbs that I, had, that I rewired, and a car tire as its wheel. The next day, I took this trash compacting robot and unveiled it at the podium in the town square. At first, people thought it wouldn't work, but it did. Now, I have the trash compacting robot, a water purifying robot made of, made of an old coffee can with its arms made out of water purifiers, and an old mixer to power through the water, an air pollution cleaner made of an old vacuum with vacuum arms and a propeller to fly around, a toxic waste cleanup robot made of a garbage can reinforced with a bunch of metal and sponge arms, and my latest and greatest invention, Johnny Appleseed 3000, which plants trees and grows food. People now love my robots, and I'm glad they do, because I love the environment. If we're going to live on Earth, we better keep it nice. And now, I hope the reader will do the environment a good turn and recycle this story. The end.